so great that I parked here. The fog's coming in quick. It's gonna cover all of this. This is what happened last yesterday morning. It just covered like bedded all over the lake. Um, so yeah, I woke up a few times last night, I'm not gonna lie, because of the cold. And it's obviously like, I didn't find this place on park for night or anything. I was just driving because I know the area. So, well, I know of the area, I should say. I've been here a few times. I haven't really driven here um, before. Decided, you know what, I'm just gonna park up wherever I saw it when I drove past it. It was, it was good because the trees help mask the cars a bit. Um, but it was creepy, like changing my like my mindset. Going, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. There's a few cars that stopped during the night, not a lot. Because that's the one thing that I personally don't like. If there's like boy races and stuff like that, I am gone. Like I do not tolerate boy races at all. Or if it seems like there is going to boy boy races, I tend to just like not park there at all like for me if it look, looks like super like family hiking that type of vibe that's where i park i don't do like random spots like that my coffee's like worked out really well it's lukewarm which is pretty decent for fucking little i don't know if this is working much keating <laughs> we'll see i think it was a wasted gas at this point but i don't know i'm just kind of trying to soak up my surroundings at the moment and just like be it's it's cold but like my vine's getting some nice sun which is always a good thing and yeah i think also having no signal my mind was like thinking crazy last night but it's the headspace that i needed you know like that clarity that relaxed thought focus on yourself etc etc okay so I had to bring the kettle inside because it just was too cold for it to cook. I was just going to waste my gas and also the, when the gas is too cold it won't cook either. Like it's crazy. So I've come inside. As you can see my van is the tip. So I'm going to clean up quickly, get ready for breakfast and then we can talk. Okay. Um, so last night after the after I finished hiking I went to go park up and then I felt like I needed to be stealth where I was because I didn't know what there was there was only no litter signs and what really irritated me is that the first spot there was like loads of litter everywhere and I was like I don't want to be pinpointed that that's my litter because I keep all my rubbish in my van if sometimes I keep it in my van for a week if I can't find a rubbish bin do you know what I mean like I will not dump my stuff anywhere so um I've got like two bags of rubbish which I'm taking with me but it was just like come on like if you see rubbish take some rubbish take it home with you and put it in the bin like it's not rocket science you know um and it's like look how beautiful this landscape is it's just unnecessary anyway so I moved somewhere else and then it was like I was so tired. I was just like I didn't even cook any food. I was just like I just want to get into bed, get on my comfies and go to sleep. So I took a nap first. It was like four o'clock. I took a nap, got warm and it took actually my van at this stage because when I went to go hike, I left it for like three, four hours without me being in the van and everything was cold. Like my bed was cold. The heater was on for 40 minutes first. It did phase one heating. Then I put it on half an hour later. I put it on for half an hour. And then half an hour later after that, I put it on for 20 minutes. And that's what kept my duvet comfy. So it took a bit of time to get it all sorted. But my electric, I love it. This solar panel is doing fantastic. Literally only this morning where I drove, boosted it up to 96% so it's literally full capacity again so that's just really great I've got so diesel wise I've I've done it now one two so I would say at this current temperature five pounds will last three four nights I think between four to five nights five pounds so I have to go put some more diesel in there's like this I'll be fine for the next 
two days or whatever but since I'm passing a garage I should do it now rather than later so that's the diesel thing very worth my 10 pounds this temperature gauge because it was very important just for me to understand my, my heat retention so I need to cover up this with carpet number one I need to get a thicker blackout curtain because the blackout curtain is allowing heat to escape to the cubby. Ideally, I would like to make sure all the windows are closed, um, like, you know, foiled up and the wind deflectors. So that's, that's kind of like what I've needed and what I've observed with my winter prep. Um, but other than that, it's pretty toasty. It's pretty good. And the temperature did drop very, very low last night. So it's nice to know that I'm okay. I think if I had to put the diesel heater on, like if I had to stay in the van now, I think that five pound would only last like three nights, like three full days, three full days of heating. And that's with me not driving. But when I drive, I don't have to worry about having so much heat. So it's like a two-way thing. So if I was to do like a trip, I would need to drive every... Like drive before I park up somewhere so that my van's heated. That would be like the strategy. But anyway, I'm just nerding out now. I'm going to clean up have a cup of tea and then I'm gonna drive to the studio to go work it's a beautiful yeah but yeah this 48 hours away was perfect exactly what I needed okay so I just wanted to show you what I've done to be prepared for my winter um, so far so I bought this at B&M this has replaced that um, other carpet it just really helps to be honest it's a little bit thicker than the other one then we've got a fleece um teddy bear blanket i actually want to change so you see how dark this is i want to change this to a white one so i want to buy a white one but i want to get another one for the bottom maybe like a blue and then get a white at the top or just get it another white one basically so that it brightens up the space a bit and then i've changed the pillow cover as well over here because again just when everything is like this material it just really helps the like keeps the warmth in like i only have to have the diesel heater on to warm up the general space and even if it drops to about five degrees i'm still quite warming that so you just need the diesel heater there just to top up the space around you so that your faces are freezing basically um but that's that's kind of what i've done and then my diesel heater of course is over here yeah that's what and then obviously my solar panel is charging my diesel heater and that's not connected to the alternator like it's not connected to the main battery at all um so far so good so my Victron is currently pulling in 38 watts. Um, and that, this is like a really, really good day for me because look how bad the weather's been. So yeah, it's really the positioning is everything for the sun. So if I have loads of cloudy days, I'm in trouble. <laughs> but the, to be honest with you, my solar panel is quite good that it doesn't have to i don't have to worry so much you know i am going to be leaving soon i'm just going to clean up because i've noticed some of my dishes weren't cleaned properly so i'm just going to clean them all um and then my van's nice and sorted out i literally i cannot wait until i get this kitchen done because at the moment it's annoying everything's in a bag and like it gets so messy so quickly but once everything has a space and all my clothes are put away I feel like 
I can access stuff underneath easily. I can just, everything will just be perfect. And especially like water and functional, like functionality in the van. So this is going to be like my kickoff to winter van life. Um, I decided like I really wanted to do like a series with my videos. Um, I just felt a bit in, uninspired. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, what am I actually doing? So I am planning a trip up north. It won't be as long as I wanted to, but it will be now that I've tested out the van here. I'm happy to take it up north. Um, and then I have to put it into the mechanics when I come back from north. I had to take some time to myself because I was, like you saw from the last video, I've been uninspired to vlog because the van heating situation wasn't under control. I was like, oh my God, I've been so demotivated. So now slowly, slowly I've bought a new website. So um, I'm gonna link it down below. I'm gonna be putting blog posts out. Um, at least once a week, which is great. And I think just try to do little mini trips like this, really, um, and bring you along with me. That's going to be the winter of our life, is just try to do, like, I'm going to stay in the UK for the next month, <laughs> um, two months, I should say, uh, just see how my situation unfolds. Hi everyone, sorry that I never got in the vlog off correctly, <laughs> as always. Um, I just wanted to say thank you, I hope you enjoyed the last three videos. These were just like a mini entry level to um, my winter fan life series. I'm currently in the studio, this is my co-working space. This is where I am starting to, this is where I'm starting to rebrand my business. So yeah, I'm actually preparing for going Hopefully to Snowdonia, but it's super rainy and I hope I can make it there. Hopefully I can go still uh, regardless of the weather. But yeah, mm -hmm. I just want to say thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate everybody watching my videos and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.